My dude Stewdog here, welcome back to more DN Duel Commentary. So we're finally back in the new format, DN ratings got reset, so anything's fair game. And as you can see here, we're seeing a Herald of Ultimate in this deck? Interesting. So, <laughs> probably this time next week we won't be seeing any of this stuff, but I mean with the ratings reset, anything is fair game. So we got Captain Nice here at 903, which is actually pretty high rating this early on. is going to start things off by summoning the Gale Dagra. He's going to be paying 6,000 to ditch Double Hero of Arclight to add himself some Ritual cards. And he's going to be playing Advanced Ritual Art to Special Summon the Herald of Ultimateness right off the bat here. Sending two of this card. I'm not in the mood to pronounce that. Like, not at all. Gaia Tuneno Megami? I guess, but man, there's one freaky face right there. So, first turn, Hero to Ultimateness, so good luck, have fun to this man right here. Quite a bit of experience, 12,000, but... So, announce this guy's name, we got Donor Mitz Sosa, here at 649, so pretty high ratings by both these guys. Start things off by playing a Gag Cyclone at Captain Nice's 1 set, and he's going to be playing 1 for 1 here, pitching Sestimus, and that's obviously just going to get negated. And you might as well, I mean, it's a cost to pitch, or a cost to pay for one for one anyway, so there you go. So he's playing three of this vanilla guy. He opened one of them, and the other two... Wow, you have to read Harmerdeck? Are you kidding me? You have to read Harmerdeck, and what's your rating? And what's your experience? I could see if your experience was only, like, 500, but 6,000 experience, and you have to read Harmerdeck. What the frick? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm not in the mood to announce this guy's username, but it's catching my attention. So, we're going to be shouting out some of these watchers here. We got 69 Suave 69. What the frick? <laughs> and I believe we also got my, my number one fan here. Let's check him out. Is my number one fan here? Hell yeah, buddy! FBI 1996! My main! <laughs> so, let's see. Who has nothing to say in the watchers chat? Usually he's talking about some pizza or something. But anyway... Herald of Ultimateness is just putting in too much work, as we can see here. Top deck's right in that Dark Factory of Mass Production. Now he'll be able to get back two Vanillas, so that's two more free negations. So Infernoid's about to lose to the underdogs here. And now he's finally going to go for some offensive pressure. Switch this to attack position and go for 2,000 direct. So anyway, back to Donor's turn. Just going to pass his turn. And right back to Captain. Let's see, Captain, what do you got for us? Just gonna go straight for the beat down to me, I don't blame him. So this is probably one of the most high rated duels going on at the moment because there's 64 watchers. And that's I mean most likely. I mean it's, it's not because Stu Dog's watching. I mean it we we got 69 watchers because cause Stu Dog's watching. I mean look look at him. Where, where am I? There he is. That's the only reason we have 70 watchers here. It's not like they're the high rated guys or anything. Like how is 900 high rating? 900 is not high rated at all. <laughs> So anyway, ooh, was that Snake I saw there? Was that Snake? Snake, my man! Big shout out to Snake, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry we're not commentating on the duel, but there's really nothing to commentate about. As you can see, it's just the Herald of Ultimateness is just putting in way too much work. Going for dirt cheap, 12 cents. I believe this card has never been reprinted and it came out of what? The new challengers. No, it might be in the new Megatons. Let me go check. I'm pretty sure this is in the new Megatons. But still, pretty dirt cheap for a very powerful card. So I was going to be summoning Raiden, attempting to use the fact, and then he's going to be negating. And then I was going to be summoning some Infernoids here. He's going to be banishing the Harmonic from his grave and Assestimus from his hand to special summon a Tondo. And... Well, let me reread that. Can you do that? When your opponent wants to special summon a monster... Oh yeah, you can do that. And as you can see... He's just losing resources one by one as Captain Nice just has all the odds to everything. So, mm, congratulations to this man right here. He gets a swift game one victory, not even five minutes in this video. And hopefully the Infernoids can come back. Because, I mean, if you wanted to open up that first turn Herald, I mean, I don't think you would have won. But, yeah, pretty interesting deck. And you have been having some, you know, great success with it. So, got to give you props on there. So, we're going to be pausing the video and waiting for these guys to side deck and seeing if the higher tier deck Inferno has can come back and win these next two games.
Okay guys, welcome to game number two. So despite getting completely blown out on your first turn, you're gonna be letting the Herald guy go first. Like, what the frick? I mean, just because your deck likes to go second doesn't mean you have to go second 24-7. Like, I, I don't understand that logic. Like, you're not a robot. You're a human being. There's different situations and different, you know, aspects of the game that you gotta take in consideration. And right now, you know you're going up against a Herald deck. You know you lost turn one. And you know this guy has some high rating. I mean, there wouldn't be 87 watchers, I mean, other than Stew Dog watching, that there's you know, a whole bunch of watchers because this guy is a high rating, which means he's had some great success with this deck. So why would you let him go first just so we can drop that Herald on you? And as you can see, that's exactly what he's going to do. This complete same deja vu of what happened last game. And now... Oh, man, the Archoid Christia. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for playing, man. That's my line. That's copyright infringement of Studo. That's my line. Oh, my God. So, yeah... I really don't think you're coming back from this. I mean, even if you ever get gate ultimate, this can just negate it. Anything you do, you, you you can't do anything. You can't even attempt to beat out the Christia or the ultimateness with some Infernoids because you can't even special. So I I, I would love to know what the heck's going on. So it's gonna be summoning Archfiend and Centric here. I believe the most expensive Pendulum monster in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh at the current moment is gonna be attacking over the Gale Do Doga. I want to call this Dora. And then using this effect. Wow, did he just open up the same exact hand? I mean, despite having Christia, did he open up the same exact hand? Because, I mean, did, did you see that? He went for the same exact plays. He had the same exact cards. He had that same exact vanilla in his hand. He had the same exact... <sighs> Gale Doga. He had that same exact ultimate. Like, my god. And you opened up the emptiness, too. Why did you pick to go second? Like, come on, man. Are, are you a robot? I guess this guy's a robot. Because, I mean... Like, why? Just because your deck likes going second doesn't mean uh, you have to go second all the time. Because you know knowing this guy's luck. I mean, 900 rating. On matches, he's been opening pretty well. Oh, my God. Wow. Really, man? Really, man? 1738. Tapes and CDs. <laughs> That's one heck of a username. But anyway, it's a pretty short D and dual commentary. I'm sorry, guys, but... Apparently, this guy just had to be a robot. Like, if you would have went first, this would have been a completely different duel. I don't know what you were smoking letting this guy go first. <laughs> GG. How was that a good game? Boggles my mind. Boggles my mind. But anyway, I, ho I hope you learned yourself a lesson. I hope all you guys watching at home learned something new. Because if you're going up against a hero to ultimate in this deck, don't let him go first. Especially of what happened game one. Like, what are you... And your side decking emptiness, too. Like... Why? Why you gotta be so bad, man? Like, why? But anyway, thank you guys for watching this short edition of D&D Commentary. Stay tuned for next week when we'll have two different decks, and it'll probably be longer than this. So, any last words, FBI? Got any last words? Uh, apparently, he doesn't. So, thank you guys for watching this. As always, stay tuned for tomorrow, and we have everyone's favorite segment, Low Read of Duelist, and that's all I gotta say about this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.